so a new topic mole concept and stoichiometry we'll first be studying about mole concept now you might be familiar with this very common term used in chemistry which is mole so what is a mole what can you say what is a mole one mole is nothing but a number it is just a number whose value is 6.022 or 6.023 i mean you can use anything it doesn't make much of a difference into 10 to the power 23 so one mole means only this much so one mole of different things means 6.22022 or whatever value of that thing this many particles of that thing so if you say we have one mole of suppose um, sodium atoms it means we have 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 sodium atoms and this this quantity is a dimensionless quantity it has no dimensions of length or anything and it is commonly called the avogadro's number denoted by n a so this quantity is a constant it does not change because its value it it is defined as 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 uh, uh, particles existing in one mole of any um, anything so this is a constant dimensionless constant which is called the avogadro's number now what is the significance of this quantity why why is there such a quantity of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 in chemistry this is a very important quantity because a mole is the conversion unit between grams and atomic mass unit it is just a conversion unit it can be called a conversion unit between gram and atomic mass unit now what is atomic mass unit we have seen one mole is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles or in in case of one mole carbon it would be this this number of atoms of carbon in case of an ion there would be ions in case of maybe electrons there may be electrons so in case uh, in ca in case of protons there may be protons so one mole of anything is this much at uh, particles of that thing so this one mole carbon is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon so what do you say by one mole of carbon one mole of carbon is 12 g carbon how because carbon mass number is 12 amu so the weight of 1 mole of carbon would be 12 amu into 1 these many grams so you can find out the weight of 1 mole of carbon 1 mole of any substance 
that is this many atoms of any substance by using this conversion so the conclusion we get to is that this 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is equal to x gram of that compound where x is nothing but its mass number or you can say atomic mass because this is equal to one mole and this is also equal to one mole so this mole is a sort of a bridge between this number of atoms and the weight of that many atoms. This will make it more clear. One mole is equal to Na, that is Avogadro number, that is that 6.022, Na particles and this one mole is also equal to x gram where x is the mass number of that element. And so, since this is equal to both, then these two are also equal. So we can say that 12 gram of carbon, since 12 is the mass number of carbon, this will contain 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon. So that is why this quantity, this very standard result has led to the formation of this quantity, which is this.